city of a thousand planets. After centuries of peace and prosperity, an unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Let's get to work. So <laughs> he reached out to my manager and I, and he just said, you know, I have a really cool idea and I would like to run it by you, but I want you to come meet with me in person so I can really show you it, all the, the pictures, the images, and really explain it. He kind of just explored the whole world and explained the vision and my character, Bubble, and what he wanted me to play and what I would be doing. And I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Um, Sci-fi movies are always really fun. And this one has such a modern twist. There's a little bit of, a lot of reality in this world that's not real. Um, and that's why I really, I think I was attached to it. Luke is very, very passionate about his art. And, you know, he had all the boards laid out and he was just very enthusiastic. I saw how much he loved it and how much he really cared about this project. And he worked on this for nine to 10 years. I mean, that's, it's something that I felt like I could trust, you know, because he, he took his time and he spent a lot of time on it, something that he's very close to. And I love, I love it. I love working with Luke. He's very, and he loves to demonstrate. That's my favorite part about working with Luke, seeing him demonstrate bubble. <laughs> She's, in this place and she has to perform and, and the thing that makes her feel free is her performing, her, her being an artist, her becoming whatever and making people happy in that way. She's an entertainer. We meet Bubble in a cabaret club called the Glam Club and she right away is an artist. She's performing. She's taking all different types of shapes uh, back to back to back to back. Um, and it's, it's a pretty fun scene. It gets a little emotional at one point because she doesn't like people who don't like her art. <laughs> and she's very sensitive about her art as all artists. It was fun to go from look to look. Um, it was a, definitely a lot of changes, uh, a lot of makeup changes, especially, and a lot of hair changes, a lot of wig changes. And um, I would say the, the one that took the longest was probably the Cleopatra look. It was a lot of detail a lot of waterproof makeup that definitely, you know, you had to take your time to do that. Of course. I mean, everybody who loves film is a fan of Luc Besson's work. I mean, he's, he's incredible. He's one of the best and everything he does is so detailed and he, pays attention to everything. He pays attention to hair, 
makeup. Like he literally is coming into the room, looking at the makeup, telling you if he likes the outfit. He's going through costumes. He will fly to see you just to go through costumes. Each, each look just to say, to see if you like it, if you don't like it, if you want to change it. He's also really open to, to that. He wants you to love it and own it. And I really appreciate that. I'm so blessed to be having this experience. And he is especially very patient when it comes to working and directing me because you know, I'm I, I'm very new to the movie world and he's he's very considerate of that. He knows exactly how to get what he wants out of you and that's what a director is. That's the thing that was so intriguing about this project. I found that he's he somehow found a way to keep you connected and keep you relating to the the roles, each person's character. And he wants you to fall in love with them as well as be blown, being blown away by this incredible world that he's creating out of his own brain. He's crazy.